Hi. <laughs> I'm full of nervous energy, so you're going to have to deal with that. <laughs> okay, so um, my name is Eric, and I wanted to talk a little bit tonight about, um, about those projects that you have in mind that you, that you want to get started, but you don't quite know how to get started. And I wanted to talk how you might be able to get started on those sorts of things. So the first question you might be asking yourself is, uh, who am I and to be talking about this? And the truth is that I had my own project that I had no idea how to get started on. Um, but then once I figured it out, I've been doing it for almost two years and it's made me happier than almost anything I've ever done in my life. So I wanted to share a little bit of that with you. Uh, the first thing to talk about is what keeps us from doing things at all when you have an idea. And I think it's intimidating to have this idea of like this final product that's out there, this vision of this thing, but you don't know how to get there. Whether you want to like start a band or, uh, or, or change careers careers, you just don't know how to do there. Authors say that the, fairy, the scariest thing in the world is a blank piece of paper, and that's what that is. Like, like where do you start? You think, like, I want to do this thing, but I can't do this until I do that, and I can't do this until I do that, and this and that, and it's all overwhelming. So it's important to remember that no one starts finished. When you have an idea for a project, it's okay to start somewhere in the beginning, because um, I, heard, I heard this story once of a choreographer who was struggling with this piece on Broadway, and they went to the director and said, I don't know what to have uh, the dancers do. And the director said, well, have them do something so we can change it. And I love that idea. I love that idea because, um, because I think so many of us are better at fixing things than starting things. And so the, uh, the, the idea to get the ball rolling is to give yourself something to fix. Um, once the ball is rolling, it'll just, the, 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 the momentum will carry you forward. So this is where I want to tell you about the idea that I had. Um, I've always been a fan of storytelling shows and podcasts like The Moth and Risk, and I had this idea to start a storytelling show here of my own, um, a, a show about sex, as a matter of fact. Um, but I didn't know what to do and how to do it because I've never put on a live show before. That's not who I am or what I do. It's not how I saw myself. So I asked advice from some producers around town. I, I, I tried to ask my friends, would you go to a show if I did this sort of thing? I looked at shows in other cities. Um, it's important to note that none of this is actually getting the ball rolling. This isn't creating momentum. What actually got the ball rolling was when I got in touch with a theater and I said, can I reserve this date and here's some money and, uh, and, and, and that's when it's going to be. And that's what created the momentum because uh, at, at that point, um, Ah, I know, it's on the next slide. <laughs> um, it creates accountability. Um, it's really difficult to be accountable to yourself. What really helps you move forward is when you get other people involved. If you want to start that band, get your bandmates together and make a rehearsal schedule and stick to it. If you want to get a new career, stop updating your resume and just start sending it out. We opened our show uh, here on April 26 of 2012, the Mystery Box show, and I, I honestly don't know how it happened other than my momentum, but it's been amazing, and since then the momentum has carried us forward almost two years later. We've had 47 storytellers, we've done shows here in Portland, we've done shows in San Francisco, and I wouldn't have any idea of how to get to this point if I'd thought of this at the beginning. So it's important to recognize that nobody starts finished. We started off with five storytellers. I'm so pleased at how that timing worked out. Um, <laughs> um, that's, that, that's where we started, and, that's, and, and, and once that was done, the show just moved forward from there. Um, so you might have all of these ideas. You might have like dozens of ideas and say like, I want to get started on this and this and this and I don't know which one to do because I can't do them all at once. And I think it's important just to pick one. Um, just uh, pick one and start moving forward. I'll give you an example for, with our storytelling show. After that was a success, I thought, well, I'll start a podcast. I'll collect stories from around the country. I recorded them myself. Um, I, I, I did the intros, I did the editing, I did the uploading. I, I put all the work into it and I hated it. I didn't like doing it at all, which means that after 18 episodes, I was done doing the podcast. And it felt a little bit like a failure. But here's the important thing to note, is that when you fail at something, it doesn't mean that like, you, it, it was a waste of time or you shouldn't have done it at all. It just means that you weren't 
interested in doing it enough in the first place. Having a podcast was a good idea for me. I, I'm sorry, it was a good idea, but just not, not for me. So recognize that if you do something and you fail at it, it just comes from a lack of passion because we often do things that we think we're supposed to do um, instead of the things we really want to do. So find what you really want to do. Um, keep on trying things. And, and, and when, that, when that thing that you dig really hits you, you'll know it. Um, remember these four things. No one starts finished. Determine what's going to get the ball rolling. Create accountability between yourself and somebody else. And if you fail, remember that, that, that that's, take that to heart. Forgive yourself and, uh, and, and start on the next project. Find what you love. Uh, you might be up here on stage talking about it at Ignite Portland another time. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs>